Hello and welcome to this recap segment from Sketch Date Live. If this is your first time, I want you to hit that subscribe button, turn on alerts, and come say hi on the socials. I am at sketchaday.com on Instagram, at Daily Sketches on Twitter, and I'm pretty easy to find on Facebook. Just search for Sketch Day. If you'd like to support what we're doing here at Sketch Day, there's a lot of ways to do that. You can sign up to be a Patreon, become a super fan at patreon.com slash sketch day. You can check out the store where I have things like Photoshop brushes, brushes for Procreate, stickers, and other resources. And you can always donate. Link and information is in the video description below. Of course, I love hearing from you guys, so feel free to leave comments, drop comments below, and say hi. So let's do a beetle. And looking at... I don't know why my Instagram... Oh, it's frozen. I was like, I can't really see any chat. All right, there we go. Eh, whoa. My camera mount is all messed up today. Sorry, guys. Okay, stay. Stay. What's up, Martine? Hello, hello. Yeah, I don't know if this camera thing is going to hold. Sorry. But if you want to join, hit up the, the YouTube. All right, so something like a beetle, right? You're going to have a flat, flat body. You're going to have a thorax and maybe a head. And I'm just, I'm just kind of going from memory here, you know, maybe something of a horned, horned beetle. So I'll start with kind of some lines like this and, uh, you know, whether or not it's, it's totally accurate. Who knows? I'm just kind of having fun here. All right. So got a leg like i said we've got our shell maybe some wings let's give this a little bit more volume and another leg here and toward the back maybe some other leg like so all right and since it's horned, maybe these are alien insects. Like if there was a parallel universe and they're like inspired by life on our planet, but not exactly <laughs> the same. Before you all criticize me for not doing a real beetle. We'll just call it a beetle like creature. All right, but in this case, I'm gonna go with something a little bit more brown. Let's break out the break out the Copics here. If you guys are watching on Instagram, go check out Martine. He is design sketching on Instagram. Super talented, the Netherlands. Yeah, if you're just a just a tip here, if you're anticipating doing marker, a lot of times you can do kind of looser sketches like this. And then when you're ready, just apply the marker over it because the marker is going to help also clean up um, a lot of your lines. And that's going to, you know, bring things to the forefront. So something you can do to take the pressure off if you're comfortable using marker. If you're not, then certainly focus on uh, focus on making sure you have good lines. So this is what I would consider a marker sketch. Not necessarily a rendering, just applying some quick color here. I guess brown is more of a cockroach color, but we'll add some black or at least dark, dark tones here to help it out. Now, just a reminder, draw with your shoulder. Okay, if you're struggling with your line quality, 
or being able to execute, draw with your shoulder. It's gonna help you. Maybe it's like a cockroach and a beetle had a baby. What would that be, a beetle roach? That would be terrifying, right? If there was something called a beetle roach and it like had horns, but it could also fly. That would be like my ultimate nightmare. Ultimate, ultimate nightmare. Thank you, Mia. <laughs> Matt says, I found a huntsman spider in my room. <laughs> <laughs> when visited Australia a couple years ago. Holy cow. Yeah, that would that would not be fun. Especially if they're that big. That would not be fun. All right, so now, like I mentioned, just trying to add some darker tones here to get my shadows in. And maybe on this far side as well, just so we can kind of round the form where the legs meet. Okay, did you guys decide though? Did you want to see a dragonfly or a butterfly? What's next? Inquiring minds want to know. Yeah, I'm not super happy with this one. Just shadows are kind of weird on it. Or not the shadows, the uh, the legs are kind of weird, but. I'm gonna own it so you guys can learn from my mistakes. Let's see if I can fix it actually. Maybe I'll just show a little bit of a leg on that side. Maybe just hint at a leg or something. And let's see if I can bring some gray in now. Okay, we got votes for dragonflies. All right. I'll need to look at some reference just to get my bearings, but I'll do a dragonfly next. So sketch a day live. Thanks for joining. If you want a more full view of what I'm doing, head on over to the YouTube, youtube.com slash sketch Got my camera set up, all of that good stuff. So you can get a more full view of what's happening. Beetle Roach. That should be like a horror, horror movie. Beetle Roach, right? And it's like some mad scientist was experimenting on creating the perfect cockroach and created a hybrid with a beetle, a horned beetle, for some reason. And then they get out of the lab and start like wreaking havoc on the population. That'd be a great sci-fi movie. I'd watch that. Beetle Roach. Do you remember when there were like tons of sci-fi movies about like arachnophobia was one back in the day? Maybe I'm showing my age. Uh, <laughs> Hit movies like Birds, um, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Yeah, they don't really do that anymore, unfortunately. It's like those cheesy, cheesy sci-fi movies. Maybe you guys know what I mean, maybe not. The Beetle Roach. Okay, this is officially a beetle roach. That's what I'm calling it. <laughs> All right, so right in here, I just wanna work on the shading a little bit.
maybe add some texture. Just with a bit of stippling. And usually if I'm working like really dark like this, you got to make sure you have some white pencils or a white pen just to pull out any details that you want to. Okay, so there's the head, body, thorax is in there somewhere. Don't worry. They're kind of like smushed together. Oh, I forgot, uh, forgot to give it some antennae of some sort. So like I said, having a little white pencil, you can use that to just pull out any form that might be a little bit lost. Almost like you're working with a toned paper. that okay that didn't turn out so bad I think I was able to bring it back a little bit Hello, once again, if you want to catch the full stream, head on over to youtube.com slash sketchaday.com. That's where we're hanging out today. That's where we always hang out. I'll be doing another stream tomorrow, Saturday. And that'll be early. Um, most importantly, if you want to catch that, just make sure you subscribe to the YouTube and turn on alerts. Let's see if I do it in the morning here, it'll probably be afternoon in Europe time, European time. What time is it there now, Tom? Tom's in the UK. All right, so there's my beetle. <clears throat> Well, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you got something from it. If you did, be sure to give me a like and subscribe, but more importantly, give back. So share what you know with your friends or someone else that you know that might be struggling. Come say hi on the socials. I'm at sketchaday.com on Instagram or at daily sketches on Twitter. And I'm pretty easy to find on Facebook. Just search for sketch a day. If you want to contribute to Sketch Today and what we're doing here, a great way to do that is become a super fan on Patreon. In fact, we do a pre-show for Patreons where you'll have an opportunity to interact with me on a one-on-one -on -one more or less basis and ask questions. And I show a little bit more about life and what I do and all that good stuff. So if you're interested, hit up patreon.com slash sketch a day. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time right here on Sketch Today.